go check this out. My hunt for free range red deer continues. It was time to start trying to separate myself from others, push into areas harder to reach. The Canterbury region comprises of extreme contrast, hosting the largest expanse of plains and some of the most rugged mountains in the country. The tops of these mountains are burnt from the snow and cold conditions. It dwarfs the vegetation, opening up small areas with low-lying shrubs and tussocks. I've still got six days to go. <sighs> these are the areas I was going to hunt. These are the areas that were going to give me opportunity. It is four in the morning. Oh, I'm about to climb a mountain. Oh, it's about minus two, but today it should be about eight degrees. I don't know about up there. Getting my shit quickly together, making sure I've got everything. Then yeah, I'm gonna walk a main dock track and cut over the back, try and walk a saddle and then hit this big open patch. See how I go. I'm about halfway up now. Oh, it's chilly. I'm already cooked as well. Just trying to smash it out and get out there before first light. Ooh. Don't slog up tracks too hard. I wasn't looking up. That's a um, doozy there. Whew. This looks like me up and around. Oh. Too scared to look at the map to see where I actually am. Whew. I've been pinning it, trying to get to the top before the sun comes up. Got like one more saddle and then one more climb to go. The moon's just setting. Pretty fucking sick. But God, I can smell every drop of alcohol and bad food I've eaten in the last year. You know those times when you're like, I've got time to prepare before a trip and you just don't do anything? This is the times you regret it. <laughs> Look at that, I can't even say. Still got the flash on and stag has jumped up from next to the track oh 
New Zealand versus bow hunter. Zero chance. <laughs> I made a mistake just then of um looking at elevation I'd made on 650 or a thousand. I've been walking for like an hour and a bit. I'm dark, I'm cooked already. All right, well, it's just up yet by enough, so I might shut up and who knows, maybe I'll bump something right on the track. That'll be pretty good. Strapped in. It's light enough for me to see. Sometimes that camera makes it look like you can see already, but I've just put my release on because I've got a chance now if something pops up. I busted one just back here off the track, but I'm getting in now. I'm not in line with the skyline, so it shouldn't be much further. I can drop off the back and get into it. flats before that mountain over one two I'm hoping that's the top oh I bought $600 boots two days ago saw them online for fucking 300 bucks cheaper and that is my second worst decision today because I'm wearing these bloody thing and I've got the worst blisters because it has just been steep steep all morning Start scoping off these edges. Hopefully, see a deer. Hopefully, get a shot at a deer. to drop down this valley, get up on there, and then it's a kilometer over to this next zone over here. So I know I'm covered in blisters already, but I'm gonna drop down here, get up here, and sit there for a while and see, yeah, if there is a little saddle I can get up over onto this one, but we will see. Yeah. 
shove some of this in my sock and see if it feels like the little void that's rubbing. It's like a weird clearing here. It's all bits of um, thin like metal. It's like a, um, maybe a chopper went down here. and that's a three hour walk back where I am now. It's going to be a long day. A mission that was um seven and a half k's to where i am now it's gonna be a long fucking day if i get something i made it all the way to where i want to be this huge area all through here drops off down here down there it's pretty mental sit here for like a day and just glass. Hopefully something walks out. Otherwise I got a long walk home for not seeing something. <laughs> the sun should like start eating this a bit more. Make it easier to see. I don't like my chances but time in the bush gives you a reward so I'm clocking some now <laughs> such an epic view up here just been eating charging my phone up looking at these shit blisters oh really regretting sending those boots back just drying my socks out I don't think it's worth me doing anything else besides glass in this one area. I've gone through all thick bush just to get here and just one big face. So I just got to pray something walks out. But if not, it was a cool walk up here. It's starting to warm up a little bit now. It was freezing before. I'd spent a few hours glassing and scanning all the areas I could. The sun was starting to hit the face, so animals might start moving beds with the heat. I packed up my bag and decided to drop down into the gully to open up some new angles and hopefully find some deer bedded or on the move. Still haven't seen a deer. Oh, that wind's cold, it's coming straight off the snow. snakes. I'll actually grab a few 
Oh, should not have locked, not put them in a bag. That bag has been used for years either. Oh well, need the sugar. But um, yeah, I know it's 11 o'clock. Haven't seen any deer. It looks epic up here. Goes right over the back as well. But um, mm, that's me done. And it's at least a five hour walk now home. So it gets me back around six with a few breaks because I'm going to be fucking exhausted. So see you later, Snowtop Mountains. That was rad. Oh, that wind just hit too. Oh, that's chilly. All right. Well, I'm not going to film anything on the way back, but yeah, that was a sick day. I didn't see anything. I saw that one in the dark on the way up, but um, yeah, I don't know. New Zealand, you got to walk a long, long way to get to some open country like this for bow hunting. And I'd say a lot of people do the same thing. It's public land, but you got to come out and have a crack, don't you? Next time, if I come, I'll definitely just bring a tent and try and like do a one day walk and just sit somewhere here then you can just spend two or three days up here go over and then if you did see something on these hills you could contemplate dropping down a gully and going across but yeah anyway you cheers for watching pick me up chopper I take a trip like this as success. I'd found a spot to hunt and I'd seen sign of deer in the area. I was climbing down exhausted, but so excited for the next day. We were going on a three day mission to one of the largest stations in the high country of the South Island. My girlfriend and her friends were gonna ride horses for three days, 80 kilometers through the station. And we were gonna drive, set up camp and hunt each night. And boy, was this country mental. I just moved from that one to this one because it looks steep. Now this has got some gnarly drop. I'd heard the term big country before, but I just didn't understand it. Click subscribe, hit that notification button because you don't want to miss this one. It is epic.